Hey, kindergarten friends, welcome back. For those of you that have been doing the um, reader videos, those are awesome for CBC word practice. But there's also some really fun games and activities you can do for CBC word practice. So we're going to go over the four things that you can decide what you want to do today. I challenge you to do one of these a day. Um, if you finish them, like the games you really can't turn into me for me to see, but you can turn these in to show me as well. So let's get started. The first thing we're going to do is CVC bingo. The first job you're going to do is cut apart these sheets like so, so that you have four different bingo games. Then your other job is to cut apart the words, the picture words here. All right. And then you're going to reach in, you're going to pull one out and you're going to say bag, but egg and then what you're going to do is you're going to look at your um you're going to look at your words here hmm. bun bit caught rat bin hen sad and ten i don't have the word beg i don't get to put anything down for that one. Ooh, look at that though someone bit the apple and i know that this one is bit so i can get a placeholder and i can place it on the word bit if you don't have placeholders at home you can use whatever you have at home it is okay if you don't get a word every time. There are a lot of game boards, so the words are all mixed up, but the idea is to practice out what that word would look like. You could even practice it on your um, alphabet arc. Practice every time mom says a word or dad says a word, bat, writing it out, and then checking it and seeing if, if you have it on your board. Or 10, or bed, or bin, oh, I have bin. So, and I have 10, woohoo, I got a bingo. So. That's fun. So if you haven't tried the CVC word bingo yet, I challenge you to try the CVC word bingo. The whole family could play. It's a lot of fun. Parents and adults doing this, just remember that they're always three letter words. So like if you want to say recycling, think about the simple word that goes with it, bin. All right. So that is CVC word bingo. If we look up at our next thing for CVC words, it's going to race to the pond if you haven't played this yet this is super fun and you guys can play it as a family or you can play it just with your child if you look down here you can choose which vowel you want to use so short i and your job is to start at the frog and try and get your frog all the way to the pond i'll roll my dice i'll move that many spots like it says if i get it right i get to stay there so it says Roll the die and move along the path. If you land on a word, read it out loud. If you're correct, move ahead one space. If you land on a lily pad, move back three places. It's a race to the pond. So, for example, if I rolled a three, I would go one, two, three. D id. If I land on a lily pad, I can skip it and I would go to fit because you got the word right. So then you roll the dice, you get a three, one, two, three. D ig. This is great fun for the whole family to play. Um, I really encourage you to play some of these games just because it makes it a little more fun to see who can get to the pond first. All right, so that is Race to the Pond. If you haven't tried that one yet, please try it. It's so much fun for CBC words. All right, our next one is Read and Find. This one is tricky, but you can do it. Sometimes you have to be creative with the pictures or really think about the pictures. So we're going to do one together right now. And I'm going to do um, short I, CVC, read, and find. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to get my marker ready. And I'm going to read the word B it. Well, now I know some kindergartners that just like to check them off as they read them. But you have to you have to read it and then think about what it means. So bit, I'm going to look for something that has been bitten or that has a bite out of it. And right away I see this apple that has a bite out of it. So I found bit. I'm going to go down to my next word, er, rig, rig. Now, when I think of a rig, I think of like a rig and pulley system, but there's also a big rig. So careful for that. I found my rig. Dip. Well, I know what kind of dip I like. I like chips and dip. So I'm going to look for some chips and dip. And I'm pretty sure there are some chips and dip in here. And I'm going to check off that. Hit. Now, hit is a tricky one, and I'm going to see if I can find hit. Normally with hit, ah, there it is. Hit. A baseball bat. Zip. Ooh, I see zip. There it is, and I'm going to check it off. But ib Bib. There's the bib. Found the bib. Awesome. Oh, 
lid. Well, I need to find the lid of something. Something that doesn't have it. Oh, there it is. There's the lid. The arrow's pointing right to the lid. Words like lit are a little trickier. So I'm going to look for like a light bulb or a candle or something that's lit up. Hmm. Let's see here. Lit. You guys probably already see it. You're pretty quick with these. Hmm. Let's see. There's a pizza. There's that. There's that. There's that. Ooh, it. Let's see here. Lit. Oh, a match is lit right there. There we go. The match is lit. Perfect. Bin. I see a recycling bin. Awesome. And kit. I think about a first aid kit right there. So aren't those great to practice reading the words and finding what the word means? It's a great comprehension skill as well. So that's a really fun one. There's all sorts of fun ones in here that you can look around and find. Those are great practice for knowing those CVC words. The last one you can try is one called mystery word. And we've done these a lot, so your kids should know how to do these. If not, I'll review with you. Okay. When I first started these, I thought they were sort of weird, and now I really like them. So take a peek here. So right here I see a jar. So my first job is to write a J because the first sound in jar is J. Then there's an alligator, so I'm going to write an A, A, and a map. So I'm going to write the first sound in map. I've now made a mystery word. Jam. What's the word? Jam. Good. Got some hay here. So I'm going to write a for the first sound in hay. An axe. And some mice. Am. And moms and dads, if you need help, you know where to look. So you're just going to do that for all of these pictures. There's a motorcycle, the first sound in motorcycle, an astronaut, and some dice. Then I read my mystery word, mm, add. Awesome. I see a volcano, an apple, and a nurse. And the word is an. So. There's mystery word for you. So those are fun, four fun ways to practice your CVC words. I hope you enjoy that. Um, these are great things to turn in to show me how you're doing with your letter writing. These are great things to show me how you're doing with your word reading. So both of those are great things to turn in at our next packet pickup. All right, hang in there, kindergartners. You're doing amazing. Kiss those awesome brains and see you soon.